Welcome to The Spread, I'm Matt Rabel. It goes without saying that 2020 has been a super chaotic year. Remember in 2016 when all that terrible and sometimes just plain weird stuff happened, like there was Gene Wilder's death, and then all those creepy clowns kept showing up in parks at night, and everybody said it couldn't get any worse? Well, 2020 heard that and was like, hold my beer. For one thing, this year's U.S. presidential election is causing a lot more worry than usual, and options traders are betting on a lot of volatility around November 3rd. Of course, current wild markets are attributable to a combination of things. Obviously, the election and the economic downturn caused by the coronavirus are factors. And then there are those damn youths trading on Robinhood. A greater number of options traders than ever before are coming from retail traders from all over the world with no professional investing experience or education, many of whom are fairly young. Amateur traders on platforms like Robinhood make up about 20% of all equity trades now, according to Bloomberg Intelligence. We've talked about the popular Reddit page Wall Street Bets on this show before, the crass online community that some analysts say is worth taking a closer look at. According to an article published this week by Bloomberg, 12% of options trade volume in 2020 has been retail, and a big driver of retail volume has been large, coordinated trades led by anonymous influencers on Reddit. While it would be reductive to say that Wall Street Bets is the only online community driving such trading activity, its infamy has gotten to the point where hedge funds and large financial institutions have begun to track the sentiment of these communities in order to anticipate the price movements of certain stocks. Speaking of crass internet communities and wild price swings, Bitcoin's price plummeting last week was followed by a ton of bearish options positions being put down by traders on Hobi, the Chinese trading platform that rolled out Bitcoin options trading on September 1st, and the CME, whose Bitcoin options volume has increased almost 48% since the beginning of the month. Bitcoin options continue to be as popular as they are novel. Besides the spike in trade volume, Pantera Capital led a digital token sales round for a new mobile cryptocurrency options trading app called PowerTrade, not to be confused with PowerAid, which won't let you trade Bitcoin, but it does have electrolytes. Some quick exchange news before we wrap up this week. Deutsche Börse, or Deutsche Börse, two Chicagoans, officially acquired a majority stake in quantitative brokers. Representatives from Deutsche Börse say that they wanted to buy the renowned quant team as part of the exchange group's long-term growth strategy. And that's going to do it for this week. We have new articles and podcasts up on johnlothiannews.com, so be sure to check out our site for more news. Until next week, stay safe and happy trading.